What's up everyone, Stowman here. Welcome to another episode. So every NFT project needs to build a community in order for that project to take off. The cool thing is that the NFTs themselves can make community building that much easier if you know how. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some simple, powerful, and best of all, free ways to grow your community through better communication and community focused ideas. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is this Koji app called NFT Message Wall. Let me explain the problem and then let me tell you why this app is such an excellent solution. I've been researching the best NFT projects to try and find out how they build such strong, large, and devoted communities. And the one thing that really stuck out was that buyers of NFTs are really impatient. <laughs> They want to be updated on what progress the project has made on a regular basis. The thing is, the best projects know this, which is why they have the top communication with their holders. They try to put a weekly update at minimum, but this is still an issue because of where they post the information. It's often scattered on Twitter and Discord servers with thousands of other messages that get in the way. And if you're not on Discord, then you don't normally get any updates. That's where the NFT message wall comes into play. So once you add the message wall, it will give you one link, just like Linktree. So you can add your social media to it and it will provide you with a forum button on your link page. The cool thing about this forum is that only holders can write on it, but anyone could read it. This is a great place to turn into a active roadmap and project progression communication tool. You can encourage your holders to ask you questions there, and then you can answer them there too, which will make your holders extremely happy. All right, so next up, let's talk about unlock with NFT. So the problem is that if you're doing things like Twitter spaces, you get a lot of time zone segregation because all the spaces are done live. So your community only benefits from them if they're actually attending that space. Now you can record them to play back at, at a later date, but sometimes they can be hours long and your community might not have that kind of time. So this is what I recommend. Keep doing your Twitter space community updates and keep writing your updates in your Discord and keep tweeting them, but you really want to be looking after your members. So go and sum up all this information into a 60 second video that touches on every key point and then use that unlock with NFT app to token gate this video. And what that means is that only people who hold your NFT will be able to watch it. Then you can leave it on your Koji page so it's always easy to find and keep information safe that you only want holders of your NFTs to know about. When this video is live, just send out a tweet or post it on your Discord. This will also surely make your NFT community super happy. All right, so the third and final app we will talk about is actually an email app from Koji. This is one of the best ways to keep your holders and potential holders updated and it protects you from any algorithm changes on Twitter. This is an email app that you install on your page and it will collect people's email addresses. You don't collect them to spam them or send them tons of sale messages, but to build a list of people that all agree that they want you to contact them with updates or information about your project. I would use this as a fail safe to your buyers so they never miss an update because it could cost them. So there you have it. Those are the three ways to build a large, strong and devoted community. Hope that was useful. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's carry on with the show. I hope that segment was useful. Comment below if there's any NFT questions you'd like me to explain in my next video. All right, so now for the main event. Let's get out there and see what kind of amazing NFTs we can find today. Now remember, this is not financial advice. These are just some amazing NFTs we're showcasing from around the world. Now let's get started. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to view more pieces from the artist or contact the artist, their information is in the description below. Now let's get started. So first up, we have Apocalypse. Their developer, RBS, has over 20 years in the computer science field, and their artist, Merlin, has 15 plus years in multimedia arts. 
Together they are a small two-person team of developer and artists who have worked very hard over the last few months to develop a new trend in the world of NFT artwork with POG NFTs. I remember growing up with POGs. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Ari Art. Ari Art Collections is a brand aimed at creating NFT arts with images of characters of different characteristics and appearance. This collection will feature art in the form of anime comics with a description of each character and their characteristics. In their art, they want to show that each person is an individual in their own way. There will never be people like you again because you are unique. We are all different, and that's the beauty. Great collection. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Filipesco. These are all part of his one of one Philipopsical collections. The soulless yet intense eyes, the vivid colors, and the checkered details in some elements are present in every single Philipopsicle. They are not generative, so he spends hours making every single one of them until he's happy with it. And he's an expat Brazilian man who loves animals and colors, and extracting these creatures from his head and sharing them with the world gives him an indescribable joy. Great collection. Can't wait to see more from you in the future. Goldhorn Bull Club. Bullford has explored 8,500 unique programmatical generated paths from over 170 hand-drawn traits, including horns, hats, outfits, jewelry, tattoos, and more. All traits are awesome. However, some are rarer than others. Bullford roams in the ERC721 fields of the Ethereum blockchain. With a project lubricator and Moo tokens in development, they are a project built for longevity. Love this project. Keep up the great work. Ibrahim Aisundu.eth. His name is Ibrahim Aisundu. He was born in 1986 in Malatya, Turkey. He is the oldest of seven siblings. He is an information technology teacher. He has been in the art of photography for 10 years. He takes pictures with the motto, light is life. He's currently living in Trabzon. Love these photographs and how you play with the light. Keep up the great work. Jiva Art. Matrix Airs Art Collection is a artwork by Jiva Moran that plays with image animation and sound for an audiovisual experience. Jiva is 53, comes from Austria and as the son of an artist, graduated from the College of Graphic Design and has worked in the advertising industry for over two decades. He mainly works with Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, and some apps. Fascinated by the revolution for the art market, he started publishing his first NFT in March 2022. Great pieces. Keep up the amazing job. KYM Curator collection of meme trading card NFTs, 32 original memes with 12 tier of rarity. Very cool project. Keep up the amazing job. Kaiser000. His handle name on Twitter is Kaiser000. He is an amateur digital artist and the idea behind the NFT he created are basically like trading cards. Growing up, he loved things like Pokemon, so this is his hand on trying to make his own series. Keep up the great work. I'm sure your passion will lead you there. Lamba.eth NFTs Lamba.eth is a project of bot stucking in Metaverse. The Lamba comes with different styles, colors, moves, and positions. Lamba ETH electrical alien bot holding Ethereum coin. Every color combination redirect a message. Get the message now. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Meitoyo.eth His name is May Toyo, a Venezuelan multidisciplinary artist based in Argentina. He's a painter for more than 10 years and his background as a designer and tattoo artist have been mediums extra to explore creativity. His art is the result of the things he loves all mixed up. He gets inspired by life, by fine art paintings, street art, even music. To him, a painting is like a painted poetry 
where he can express human emotions, freedom, awareness, and spirituality. Art affairs and international shows in real life have also been part in his career, and his physical work can be found in private collections in a few countries, plus his NFTs can be found in several platforms too. Amazing pieces. Keep up the great work. Metastract. The Particule Collection already consists of 100 unique 3D abstract NFTs. All creations are and will be listed at 0.01 ETH, except the first 10 which are listed at 0.005 ETH. You can find this collection on OpenSea. This looks like a cool project. Keep up the great work. Nadir. Nadir is 28 years old from Algeria. A cryptocurrency enthusiast, art lover, NFT maker, and proud ex-soldier. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Phil Spunt. His name is Phil. He's 27 from the USA. Just recently started making art for the first time in years. And he's loving it. He's had all this stuff in his head for so long and putting it into form feels so amazing and he's super grateful for every moment of it. Your work looks amazing. Keep up the amazing job. Private John Folklore and Folktale is a special digital art NFT collection in one-on-one -on -one ratio. Items in this collection depict the world of folklore and or folktale places and settings. Folklore and folktale NFTs are highlighted by their similar tone while each item is unique and authentic. Surreal and expressionism with the concept. All of them are one of one NFTs with full copyright transfer and unlockable content containing the HD version. Folklore and folktale NFTs are already on the boat, but they'd be minted slowly at one item per day until the collection reaches the limit. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Shadowbot NFT. Zambozo World is launching Shadowbot series 1 through 100 characters, all holding their unique stats and skills. They will launch Shadowbot cards NFTs, Shadowbot Gameland properties NFTs, Shadowbot unique skill animation NFTs, Zambozo World game and mini games. Their holders will hold privileges within the game. They can get customized shadow bots of their liking for free on order. They can take part in game launching celebration events. Their dream is to open a self-funded animal shelter. They will use all sales to invest in business and use profits in making and running of this shelter. Their NFT holders can also attend their shelter events. Very cool concept. Keep up the great work. Smart View Lab. They are a team of professional artists who have made a unique collection of randomly generated NFTs that blend the best of fine arts and blockchain technology. They have created NFTs by using artificial intelligence and art designing softwares. Besides this, their team is also famous for handmade NFTs as well as coded NFTs. They have created 20 collection of NFTs which include Finger Bits, NFT Pack, Smart Bits, Life on the Mars, Sha Nguyen, and NPT Pack. Currently, they have completed NFT listings in NFT Pack, Finger Bits, Rising Bull, and Sha Nguyen. And the remaining collections will be completed soon. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Sophia Kuhn. She is a landscape painter, photographer, and NFT artist. Born in Poland, but currently living in Germany and partly in France. I love your style of painting. Keep up the amazing job. Swords and Stuff NFT. The team behind Master of Legends has experience from a lot of different industries. Some of them work in the feature film industry, tech industry, games, and AR VR industry. One thing they have in common is that they've always had a passion for RPG games. Whether it was some of the most popular and Super NES RPGs like Final Fantasy, Chrono Trigger, and Secrets of Mana, to legendary PlayStation RPGs like FFT, 
Xenogear, and Sui Koden. The one thing they really remember are the characters, storylines, and awesome equipment. They want to recreate these experiences inside the meta cryptoverse and turn them into a collection. This is where their journey begins. Their collection is being sold on OpenSea. This is an amazing idea. Keep up the great work. The Pixel Guy. He is a 26-year-old French guy who loves art and trying to start a new type of artwork through the blockchain. These pieces look great. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Yeah Yeah Giraffe Club. Yeah Yeah Giraffe Club is an exclusive one-of-one -one NFT collection. 100% handmade drawings, each one unique with its own personality. Three categories and infinite designs, each with the different value. One common, two special, three rare, soon roadmap, and the whole project. And the second collection is on its way. Super cool collection. Keep up the amazing job. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to be featured on our next video, just DM me on Twitter. The instructions are in the description below. A huge thank you to all the NFT artists for their submissions on today's episode. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep on creating.